Teachers are passionate. They love what they do, but many have left the profession and more than two thirds are thinking about it. That's according to the statewide teachers union, Colorado Education Association. A bill that passed last year in Colorado could help with the shortage. It gives student teachers a stipend while they have their residency in real classrooms before students working on their education degrees didn't get paid for student teaching. Nine News reporter Courtney Yoon gives us a closer look at the impact that that money is really having. This group of future teachers are close to graduation and getting their first classroom. I'm honored to be a teacher. I'm excited to work with little kids and make an impact in their life. But some of them wouldn't have made it this far without the help of a law passed last year. A lot of teachers who are leaving, like it's understandable as well. It's it's a lot. Juliana Bressler is a senior studying elementary education at Metropolitan State University of Denver. It's a full time job just as a student teacher and I'm technically like not getting actually paid, but with a stipend, I am. She understands why there's a teacher shortage and why students studying to become one sometimes are driven away from the field. I couldn't imagine having another job on top of it. Just too overwhelming. Student teachers didn't used to get a stipend for their apprenticeships. Many needed a second job on top of college coursework and lesson planning. But they say, I, I really want to be a teacher, but I just can't afford it. Dean at the MSU School of Education, Dr. Elizabeth Hind, says now qualified students can get $11,000 for a 16 week residency. Students who would have dropped out are saying they didn't. It is making a difference. These people are staying in teaching. And that's what we need. She says 136 of their students this year qualified for the stipend out of about 200 student teachers in the college. The students use the word lifesaver, game changer, and grateful. So having that stipend, literally life changing. <laughs> for Juliana, it meant being able to pay her bills, buy groceries, and continue her dream of becoming a first grade teacher. I graduate May and I will start at Smith. So I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Hines says the funding for this stipend may run out after next year, so they're pushing legislators to make it align in the state budget each year. Not everyone qualifies for the financial assistance. There's a bill on the governor's desk right now that would expand eligibility. I feel like we see this in a lot of careers where that unpaid portion of the training is really um, the difference maker and the barrier for a lot of people. Yeah, it can push them away from the job, but you know, we're in a teacher shortage. We need them to stay in it right now. Yep. Courtney, thank you.